When you're doing research, it is smart to make sure you are finding complementary sources to answer your research question effectively. Typically, this means using information from both popular and scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles. So what does peer-reviewed even mean? Peer review is when an article, before publication, is evaluated by one or more people with certain expertise or qualifications. It functions as a form of self-regulation by qualified members of a profession within the relevant subject area of the paper. Peer review methods are used to maintain quality standards, improve performance, and provide credibility. In academia, scholarly peer review is often used to determine an academic paper's suitability for publication. Therefore, peer-reviewed or scholarly journal articles should have a level of trust that goes beyond information you might find on a typical website where the information is freely available. Keep in mind that professors may use the words peer-reviewed articles and scholarly articles interchangeably. All peer-reviewed articles are scholarly, but not all scholarly articles go through peer review. To find scholarly articles, you will use the UB Libraries OneSearch. Just like in Google, all you have to do is put in your keywords in the search box and then select the information that makes the most sense to your topic. For this video, we will use the example research question of how does stress impact the mental health of college students? Before you search, make sure you identify the main keywords of your research question. For this one, they are stress, mental health, and college students. Instead of typing a full research question into the search bar, we will type in our main keywords and put the word and in between them. This makes sure OneSearch is looking for information that only includes all of the words within the same work. Hit enter or click the magnifying glass to see what comes up. Before clicking on any results, make sure to select the important filters on the left side to make sure you are only getting scholarly material. Under availability, click available online and then peer reviewed journals. Next, look at the publication date range. Most professors will want you to only go about 10 years back. However, that may change depending on your topic. With ours, I'm going to change the publication date range to 2015 through 2025. Be sure to click the box as well. Next, look at content type. Notice there are many different types to choose from. Although books and book chapters are considered scholarly material, we're only going to focus on articles for this video. Next, click Apply Filters. We have a lot of information within the results list. This might seem overwhelming, but while digging through, focus on the titles that sound the most interesting and are most pertinent to your research question's keywords. You will have to go past the first page of results, as chances are the best stuff isn't going to be within the first 10 results. On the second page, there's an article called Emotional Intelligence, Belongingness, and Mental Health in College Students. You can see that it was published in 2020, so it's recent, and it sounds like it might help answer our research question. When we click on the title, it'll open up the record or profile of the article. From here, we can access it by clicking where it says, Download PDF. If for some reason that link doesn't work, we can scroll down and click on one of the links under View Online. From here, we will skim the article and see if it's worth using in our research. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. If you have any other questions, you can watch our other videos on how to skim a scholarly article, or breaking down the pieces of a citation, or you can contact a UB librarian.